Well, good evening, everybody. I hope you are as excited as I am for um, being able to be at church tomorrow and for us to all be able to come together. Again, we will have two services, one at 9 uh, and then one at 1030. And so I hope to see you at one of them. But most of all, you know, we will get to be together again and worship God as as a family. So that that is a good thing. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, thank you so much for this beautiful day you have given us. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you for the, the blessings that we have. And Father, as we draw this day to a close, I, I just, I want to just worship you because of your goodness, your grace, your love, your mercy. Lord, I think about your grace, the fact that you you continue to do what is right and best for us, even though we fail you. Uh, you continue to love us and, and provide for us, even though we let you down. Father, I, I have to admit that that just staggers me when I stop to, to think about it. And it just further reinforces how great you really are. Uh, your love for us is, is truly amazing. And Lord, I know that I don't deserve your love. I know that I don't even come close. And so, Father, my prayer for myself and my prayer for everybody that's a part of this tonight is please help us to better grasp the depth of your love and I pray that it will profoundly affect us, that it will profoundly change us so that we live lives that are, are more devoted to you and more, um, more reflective of you. Father, my, my prayer for myself and my prayer that I, I could pray for anyone else would be, help me to be more like Jesus. Um, to be more authentic in the way I live my life. And I pray that for the others that are a part of this prayer tonight. I pray, Lord, that you will help each of them not to become more religion, religious, but help us to be more like Jesus, to be genuine and loving, authentic followers of Christ. Thank you, Father. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, Again, hope to see you tomorrow. Good night.